The topic of this video is evaluating exponential functions. Let's look at a problem. If a single pane of glass obliterates 9% of the light passing through it, then the percent P of the light that passes through n successive panes is given approximately by the function P of n equals 100 times 0 0.91 to the n power. What percent of light will pass through a 1 pane, b 10 panes, and c 25 panes? Okay, so this is clearly one problem with three parts. The first thing I would like to point out is this really is an exponential function. If you write the function that's provided in this problem next to the definition of an exponential function, we can see that it fits the mold. It fits the definition. And specifically, the initial value, capital C, is 100. The growth factor, A, is 0 0.91. And the variable in our problem is N instead of X. And that's fine. You can use any vari variable you want as long as you define it. So before we begin solving this problem, let's talk about how understanding this definition will help us solve this problem more effectively. So let's think about what's going on here. Capital C is 100, and in this problem we're told that the function is measuring the percent of light. So the initial value is 100%. That makes sense. When you first shine a light source at a piece of glass, what comes out of the light source is 100%. It's all of the light that you are starting with. Then, once it goes through the first pane of glass, some of the light will be obliterated, which means only some of the light will get through. So, that's where this 0 0.91 comes in. You might think to yourself, where did that number come from? And of course, it was given in the problem, but it's also related to this 9 right here. If 9% of the light is obliterated, that means 91% of the light gets through. 100 minus 9 equals 91. And 91% as a decimal is the number 0 0.91. So if we want to figure out how much light gets through the other side of the glass, you take the percent that you have and multiply it by 0 0.91, and that tells you what gets through on the other side. All right, so now that we understand what this is uh, telling us, we can solve this problem pretty easily. They're telling us the number of panes, and in the instructions it says n successive panes. So this number right here, this 1, is the value of n. This 10 is the value of n. This 25 is the value of n. So here we go, let's evaluate. So we're gonna plug into this function with n equals one. We get p of one equals 100 times 0 0.91 to the first power. Well, anything to the first power is itself. So this is just 100 times 0 0.91. And then 100 times 0 0.91 is 91. So we get the answer 91%. This makes sense. This is consistent with the information that was provided. If 9% is obliterated, then 91% gets through. All right, now we move on to P of 10. So we get 100 times 0 0.91 to the 10th power. And this is where we're going to need our calculators. All right, so first we're going to follow order of operations and raise the number 0 0.91 to the 10th power. We get 0.389416, etc. et cetera. Then we multiply by 100. And this tells us that the percent of light that gets through 10 panes of glass in a row would be 38.94%. There are no rounding instructions in this problem, so I'm just choosing to round to two decimal places. But when your math learning software prompts you with a problem like this, it will tell you how many decimal places that you should use in your answer. Finally, we have P of 25, so we'll have 100 times 0 0.91 to the 25th power. All right, so we've got 0 0.91 raised to the 25th power. That's 0 0.0946313, and then we're going to multiply that by 100 and then round again, we get 9.46%. All right, so one problem with three parts, and there are our three answers. So the last thing I'd like to share with you before I call this video done is let's take a look at what's going on with this number. 
The first thing I want you to understand is that we are not subtracting 9% for each new pane of glass. We're multiplying by 91%, and there's a big difference between those two things. And for that reason, what that means is, no matter how many panes of glass you have, the amount of light that gets through will always be some positive value. You can't have zero light, and you can't have negative light. So this is a real-world example of an asymptote. No matter how much light you shine at a piece of glass, some amount of light is going to get through. And then if you put another pane of glass, some amount of light is going to get through. It will always be smaller, but it will never be zero. So as n increases, the percent of light that gets through gets lower and lower and lower and lower, forever approaching but never reaching zero. A real-world example of an asymptote.